In this video, I will compare Flutterflow versus Figma and tell you whether you should start building your app in Figma and then move to Flutterflow or just start in Flutterflow directly. So in my opinion, it really depends on the complexity of your app. If your app is relatively simple, then you can actually just start building it in Flutterflow and do everything in Flutterflow. However, if it is a more complex app, then typically you may be better off starting to build it in Figma. For example, if you need to build user flow wireframes, then I would do that in Figma and maybe a style guide. And then once you've done that, you can actually dive into it and really get down to the details in Flutterflow. So really you will be building your app in Flutterflow, but if it's a complex app, it could be helpful to take some steps before you actually start building in Flutterflow in Figma so that you already have a little bit of a start and you don't have to create it entirely from scratch in Flutterflow because Figma will be easier to do some of the initial designing and user flows when you are just starting out. Now it could cost you some money, although Figma has a pretty good free plan. So you can see right here a free plan, but the professional team is 15 euros per seat per month and goes up to 75 euros per seat per month. But for most people, the free plan here will probably be enough. If not, you can always upgrade to one of their more premium plans. And then after you're done with Figma, you can just move over to Flutterflow, which also has a completely free plan available in which you can start building your app. So that concludes this comparison of Flutterflow versus Figma. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.